Okay, so we're going to continue with the presidential video series, and uh, today I'm delighted to have the honor of talking with Dr. Medigat Tashoma. She's the chair of the Breast Fellowship Program Directors Committee. She's also a counselor, counselor at large for the SSO and sits on the board of directors. Uh, welcome, Dr. Tashoma. Thank you so much, Dr. DiMatteo. So uh, let's talk uh, first. Can you tell us how the Breast Fellowship has evolved and, and, and what it is actually at this point? Yes, thank you so much. First of all, thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about the Breast Surgical Oncology Fellowship programs. You know, um, I think our future is very bright when we look at all the uh, uh, applicants that we have and the fellows and uh, our early career physicians as well. But the fellowships for breast surgical oncology are one-year fellowships. They are multidisciplinary. So while the majority of time is spent doing breast surgical oncology, fellows also rotate through medical oncology, radiation oncology, pathology, imaging, plastic surgery. They have experiences with genetics, with psychosocial um, counseling, also with lymphedema management, community outreach, and uh, of course, the research as well. So it really is meant to give kind of a full perspective of the comprehensive experience of our breast cancer patients and uh, to allow them exposure in all these different areas. Um, you know, our fellowship programs do have minimum uh, training requirements um, that um, are all uh, available online and meant to make sure that fellows have the same um, experience or at least somewhat of a similar experience. But of course, every fellowship is a little bit unique. Some take one fellow a year, others up to five. So um, there's a lot of variety and diversity that's there. And a lot of this information is available on the website. I really encourage people who are interested to take a look. Right. That's a lot to fit in one year. Uh, no question. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how did the recent match go? Honestly, this year we had a very successful match. We have 64 programs. We had 89 positions uh, in the match and all went filled. So that was um, a huge, really a huge success. I think each year um, we just see such strong applicants. And like I mentioned, just the future is really bright for our um, for our uh, field. So can you tell us a little bit, uh, the, the SSO recently signed a, a memorandum of understanding with the ASBRS, and this was a couple years in the making to, to really sort of share the governance of the fellowship training program and also do a lot more co-branding and even uh, begin to start doing some collaborative uh, research. So th this is a major change, uh, I think, for, for the program and, and will make, we'll make it much stronger. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think that many of us are really excited to see this shared governance structure. You know, many of us are already members uh, of, of course, SSO, but also ASBRS, really both our leaders, at leading societies in our field. And um, so it's nice to see that the breast uh, program director, or sorry, the breast training committee is really um, made up of members from the SSO and ASBRS. And of course, as the program directors committee, we, we work very closely with them. They kind of are, are almost like accrediting body for our fellowships. So they set the standards as to what those minimum training requirements are. Um, they do our site visits and ensure that we're really meeting all the um, measures uh, that are put forward and really have high quality fellowships um, and support for the fellows uh, as well, that they're getting a great educational experience. Um, so I think it's it really just brings more fullness um, to this uh, partnership, and I think will be really very successful for our fellows and our fellowships moving forward. So it's great to see that. Thank you um, to the SSO for all of that leadership and hard work. It, it'll be interesting to see how the partnership develops over the next couple of years. And uh, I think at the end of the day, the the trainees are going to be much stronger and the, and the field is is going to be stronger uh, because of that. So uh, th uh, thanks very much uh, for joining us today. Uh, keep up the hard work. Uh, there's always lots more to do and improve. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>